Before we start, if you like this video, please support my channel by pressing like and if you subscribe, press the notification bell so that you will get alerts if I have new videos to upload, okay? And guys, by doing it, I will appreciate it very much. Hello guys, this is Randy from Runs Graphics and welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. Today, we will be making this. Let us start by creating a new composition and we will name it logo placeholder. I will make the width 2160 by 2160 and the frame rate is 30 and 10 seconds duration click OK. Enable the title action save here. Go to my project panel and open this assets folder. Open the image. Highlight this image. Drag it down into the timeline. Press on the keyboard for the scale. I've just scaled it down to 25%. Then go to composition. Create a new composition. I will name it logo comp. This time I will change the width to trade 40. And the height is 2160. 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration. Click OK. Highlight this logo placeholder. Drop it down to the timeline. Go to Composition, create a new composition. I will name it Logo Edge. Same 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration. Click OK. Then I will drop down this logo comp into the timeline. Press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it three times. Then I will disable the visibility of this top three logo comp. Highlight this logo. Go to Effects and Preset. Go to generate fill. I'll just change this to white. Then I will enable the visibility of this logo comp 3. Highlight it. Go to effects and preset. Go to generate again and add fill. And I want a color for this one black. Enable the visibility of this logo 2 comp. Highlight it. Go to effects and preset. Go to generate and add fill. I want this white. Go to effects and preset and go to matte and choose this simple choker. I will change the choke matte here to 3.11. Go back to the logo comp number 3. Change the track matte here to alpha inverted matte and enable the transparency in here. Highlight this logo comp 1. Enable the visibility of the logo. Go to effects and preset. Go to stylize. Find edges. Go back to effects and preset. Go to color correction. I'll just add tint. Go to effects and preset and go to matte. Choose this simple choker. Change this choke matte to 5.10. Then go to composition. Create a new composition. I will name it logo reveal. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration. Click OK. Then I will open my project panel, drop down this logo comp into the timeline, disable this transparency and move forward your plate to about 2 seconds duration. Press T on your keyboard for the opacity and make the opacity 0. Then move forward your plate to 4 seconds duration. Change the opacity here amount to 100%. Now go to composition, create a new composition, name it reflection. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration, click OK. Highlight this material thumbnail image, drop it down to the timeline. Go to effects and preset, go to stylize, add motion tile. I want to change the output width here to 2000. And the output height, I want to change this to 850. Then check the mirror edges. Go back to effects and preset, blur and sharpen, add fast box blur. Change the iteration to 1 and the blur radius 12. Then I will create a keyframe on the tile center by hitting the stopwatch. Make sure that your plate is at the beginning and then move forward at the end of your timeline. Change the X position here to 1500. So now we have created a simple animation like this so 
So now we're gonna go to composition and create a new composition and name it logo reflection. Click OK. Open project panel. Then drop down this logo edge into the timeline. And I like this reflection. Drop it down to the timeline. And go to effects and preset. Go to stylize CC glass. Expand the surface. Change the softness to 11.6. The height is 65. And the displacement 282. And change the track material to alpha matte. Go to composition, create a new composition. I will name it tagline. I'm using width 1000 and the height is 400 pixels. 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration. Click OK. I will zoom it in. Grab the text tool and type tagline here. I'm using one code lay 2, 72 pixels, bold. Center it. Go to your animation presets. Go to text. Open it up. Animate in. Choose this fade up characters preset. Apply it into the layer. Go to composition. Create a new composition. I will name it particles. 3840 by 2160. 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration. Click OK. Open assets. Go to footage, open this pre render folder and choose this particle, highlight it and drop it down to the timeline. So now I'm gonna go to composition and create a new composition. I will name it fog. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration, the color of the background is black, click OK. I will go to the project panel, open it up. I like this magic spell smoke too. Drop it down into the timeline. Press your keyboard control D to duplicate it. Then go to layer, go to transform, flip vertical. As you can see that it's not fit to comb, all I have to do is to right click my mouse, go to transform, fit to comb. I will highlight the bottom, right click my mouse, go to transform and fit to comb. Go back to the project panel and highlight this magic spell smoke one, drop it down into the timeline. Right click your mouse, go to transform, fit to comb. Open this folder pre-render and drop this smoke down into the timeline. Then go to effects and preset, color correction, add tritone. Then again I will go back to the project panel, open this image and temporarily drop my color guide into the timeline. Move it on the upper left corner of my canvas and highlight this smoke. Go to my effects control, pick this color picker and choose this color. I will highlight this magic spell smoke one. Go to effects and preset. Go to color correction. I will add tritone. Then pick this color picker and choose this color. Then I will go to effects and preset. Go to stylize. Add glow. Change the glow radius here to 163. I'm gonna highlight this smoke above. Enable the solo here. Go to layer. Go to transform. Flip horizontal. Disable the solo and let's see what happens. Nice. So all I have to do is to delete this color guide. Go back to the particles composition and also delete this color guide. Then I'm gonna go to composition and create a new composition again. Name it smoke reveal. Thirty eight forty by twenty one sixty thirty frames per second and ten seconds duration. Click OK. Go to project panel, open it up, and drop down this smoke reveal zero one into the timeline. Press your keyboard Ctrl D to duplicate it. Go to effects and preset. Go to stylize. I will add glow. Change the glow threshold here to thirty three. 
then go to layer create a new adjustment layer go to effects and preset go to color correction add dry tone i will go back to my project panel and drop down this color guide temporarily into the timeline move this on the upper left corner of my canvas move my playhead forward a bit so i can see and highlight this adjustment layer go to fx control pick this color picker and i will choose this color nice i will right click my mouse here go to transform and p to comb i will highlight this layer right click my mouse go to transform and p to comb Okay, then I will highlight this color guide and delete it. Then I will go to composition. I will create a new composition. I will name it media. Thirty-eight forty by twenty-one sixty. Thirty frames per second. Ten seconds duration, and the color is black. Click OK. Now go to the project panel. Open it up. Highlight this logo reveal. Drop it down to the timeline. Highlight logo reflection. Drop it down into the timeline. Highlight both of these layers. Move your playhead to 3 seconds and 10 frames duration. Press open bracket key to move these layers. Then highlight logo reflection. Press the audio keyboard for opacity. Make keyframe by hitting the stopwatch on the opacity. Change the amount here to 0. Then move your playhead to about 4 seconds or so. Change the opacity to 100%. Then highlight this fog and drop it down into the timeline move back your play to the 15 frames duration press open bracket key to move this layer highlight smoke reveal drop it down into the timeline highlight the particles drop it down into the timeline then change the blending mode on the particles to add now go to layer create a new null object i will highlight these two layers parent it to the null object then i will highlight the null object press p on my keyboard for the position I will move my playhead back to the beginning of my timeline and hit the stopwatch on the position to create a keyframe. Then move forward my playhead to about 1 second and 10 frames duration. And I will change the X position here to 647. I think that should be good enough. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's good. So highlight this tagline and drop it down into the timeline. Move forward your playhead to the 4 seconds duration. Press open bracket key to move that layer. I'll just go back and highlight both this logo reflection and logo reveal. Press S on the keyboard for the scale. I will just scale it down to 75%. And then I will highlight this tagline, press P on my keyboard for the position, I will just drag it down. Like that. Open my project assets, open the image, open the footage, go to pre-render folder, drop this Glen 2 into the timeline. Move my blade back to the 5 seconds duration. Press open bracket key to move that layer. Change the blending mode here to add. Press P on my keyboard for the position. Drag it down. Drag it on the left side a bit to make it at the center. So let's try to preview it. nice eh? now i'm gonna go to composition and create a new composition i will name it main 38 40 by 21 60 30 frames per second the duration is 10 seconds click ok highlight the media drop it down into the timeline then go to layer create a new camera i'm using a custom preset camera click ok then I will go to layer again, create a new null object. And toggle switch is in here in order to enable the 3D layer. Also the media, I will enable the 3D layer. Then I will parent this camera to the null object. Press P on my keyboard for the position. Move my play to about 6 seconds duration. 
create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch on the position and move forward by play to the 8 seconds and 15 frames duration and I will change the Z value here on the position to 658. Toggle switch is mode in here and change the blending mode here to add. Then I will go to assets, open it up, open the image and drop this floor texture PNG into the timeline. Drag this floor texture down just a bit. And then I will highlight this media and move it up. I think like that is good. Highlight this floor texture, press S on the keyboard for the scale. I will just scale it up. Disable the visibility of this floor texture. Go to layer. Create a new adjustment layer. I will go to effects and preset. I will apply compound blur. I will change the blur layer here to floor texture. And the maximum blur, I will change this to 35. Then I will highlight this media. Go to edit and duplicate it. Drag this media down underneath the floor texture. And I will just go here and drop it down a bit underneath the floor we have. Then I will go to layer, go to transform, flip vertical. As you can see that the tagline is here. So all we have to do is to drag it down just like that. Then I will go to effects and preset, go to blur and sharpen. I will just add pass box blur. Change the iteration amount to 1 and blur radius i want to change it 15. now go back to your project panel open this footage go to pre-render folder drop down this players 3 into the timeline just below the media press t on the keyboard for the opacity and change the opacity amount to 25 percent preview it again Now as you can see here that our flare is just up to here, I have to highlight it, right click my mouse, go to time and enable time remapping. I will extend this layer up to the end of my timeline and also this keyframe. Then go to assets, open it up, go to sounds and I will drop this sound effect into the timeline. Then go to composition, I will create a new composition. I will name it final. Thirty-eight forty by 2160 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration the background is black click ok then i will highlight this main drop it down into the timeline then let's preview this let's see So now guys we are done with our tutorial and I hope that this video tutorial helps you. For those people who subscribe to my channel you are very awesome. For those people who are new in this channel don't forget to subscribe, press the like and press the notification bell so that you will be updated to all the videos that I'm gonna be uploading in the future okay. So my thoughts for today is that encourage yourself to do good and to learn more okay. So guys thank you very much for watching and see you next time. God bless.